G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Metal Cut Signs and Designs. And in today's video, we need to cut some items on the table, but I don't want to show you that so much as discuss how we're going to actually cut multiple items at the same time. And my Plasm CNC has the ability to bring in, import a file, and then you can duplicate it, and you can turn them around and you can nest them all together. And I'm going to show you that, and I'm also going to cut two different shaped gussets on the same tool path by bringing two different items in, duplicating them and then duplicating another run and I'll show you, um, I'll show you all that on the screen on the, in the software and what we're doing is I'm building doors on the front of my shed and there's three doors in total and where the uh, box tube frame is I'm going to put a gusset in the middle and a corner gusset and where the um, roller set is, is bolted onto the top rail where that vertical upright is I'm going to put a, just a gusset in there as well so I'll show you what that looks like on the software we will cut them on the table and I'll just show you how they fit on the door um, so yeah I just this is more about how to how to duplicate items and how to nest them together within the MyPlasm software well, after I've opened up the MyPlasm CNC software, I've gone into the import option and I've got three gussets that I've called them and I need to cut these. So the first one is the what I call the shed door sender gusset and I've just chosen the one and clicked the uh, little right arrow to put it over here. And the size is 150 by 150, which is how I drew it. Now, if for any reason I need to make that a different size, if I use this box here, which has got the little box, big box, by clicking on that allows me to change these sizes. Changing one and clicking OK will then proportionally change the, the other side. If I change the X, it'll change the Y the same accordingly, but I don't need that. The thing I want to show you is how to nest things, and by nesting it, it means I'm going to copy more than one. So instead of now clicking on the tick that takes me into the, the cutting profile, I actually come over here to this um, green box, blue box button, which actually is like copy paste. So because this is highlighted, if I click this box, all of a sudden I've got two. Now, I've got two, but as you can see, if I want to cut four, I need to turn this upside down to make better use of this spacing. So while it's highlighted, if I come over here to the rotate button and I click it, I move it 90 degrees. If I click it again, I get 180. Now the gap is wrong. So by having it highlighted, I put my cursor here and grab hold. Sorry. If I grab hold of it here, I can now move it. Now as long as I keep it within the orange boundary, I want to get it fairly close, so I'm going to plonk it about there, which looks pretty good. So now I've got two, but I need four of these. So if I select both of them, now I've got the, the, the dark line around them, so I've got two. And I do the same process, this Control c Control v which is copy-paste. Now all of a sudden I've got four, and if I was to grab hold of this and move this, I can get it pretty close and now I'm, whoop, there we go. I just line up a little bit better and I think that's pretty good. So now I've got the four, I'm happy with where the start is and now I'm going to click the little tick box that basically transports that and sticks it now into the cutting the tool path if you like and all I need to do now is go and set the torch up select what I'm going to use for my cutting options and I'm cutting this out of 3mm so I just happen to have a profile for 3mm mild steel plate set to 35 amps and a 0.9 tip and this gives me my cutting speeds it gives me my piercing height it also gives me my piercing time so I'm ready to go so all I need to do now is position the torch on the metal as you know, using this project position to tell the torch where it is and where I'm going to start from. 
and then I hit the start button. So that's how you nest these items and we'll go ahead and cut these. And here are these four gussets that we've just uh, done the run on. And I'll just, just lift these out. As you can see, they've pretty much gone down the edge of each other and there's no excess metal left over. We just basically cut down the side of them. And uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with the way the, the table's performing. I think I've got it dialed in pretty well now. We've got, uh, I'll just show you the back side of these. Again, there's almost no dross at all. Sorry, Reese. <laughs> he doesn't like the word dross, but hey, slag, dross, whatever you call it. We're not getting a lot of it on the back, so I'm really, really happy with the way we've got this table dialed in now. Now that I've showed you how to nest multiple items of the same shape, I want to show you now how you can nest uh, and cut multiple items that are different. And what I mean by that is this is one of the three gussets I need for my shed doors. So if I go up here to the import file option and I choose the shed corner shed door corner gusset and I bring that in see how I've now got one of those and it's 150 by 150 again I need four of these so if I click the duplicate which is the control C control V button I now get two I want to rotate it so now I've got it in the right order if I put my cursor on the on its edge I can move it across with like I did before I've now got two of them there we go um, whoops I need to pull it down a little bit and now if I highlight them both and do a control C control V I now get four so at this point I'm ready to go and cut four of these however instead of calling that ready to cut I actually want to bring in another item another gusset so I also need this this is a, I've just called this a shed door in a gusset and it's 120 by 120, it's got the corners cut off. So in, now I use this arrow plus box and that now brings one of these in. So all I do now is I duplicate this by giving me another one. Now because of the shape of them, I'm just going to put four together. The, the nice thing is the software actually decides the gap on these. So if I want another one, I need another one. If I just roll this in, if you use the thumb wheel, I guess you call it, on your mouse, I can zoom in. See, that's already set that gap. I didn't do that, the software did. So it's, it's quite thin. So now what I've got, okay. So now you can see I've got four of these corner gussets and four of these inner gussets. Now I'm ready to cut them. I click on the tick box. And now in my tool path, I ignore the red line because I'm still in, in simulate mode. You can now see I've got four items to cut, which is these corner braces or gussets. And now I've got these four center pieces. So I'm ready to go. Again, I choose my correct settings. I'm still cutting three mil plate. So now we take this onto the table and, I'll sh and we'll cut these. So this is a nice way of I'm not only nesting the same item, I'm also nesting multiple items of different shapes all in the one cut tool path. And that's pretty cool. So let, let's go and cut these.
So here are these uh, four corner pieces. There's one, two, three, four here, and these centre braces, uh, centre gussets as you call as I call them. One, two, three, four here. So hopefully they'll all lift out pretty easy. Oh, look at that. There's one. And there's two. And there's three. Oh, oops. Four of them. Gee, they're just falling out. I'm really pleased with these. And that's the that's these other pillow. Oh, okay. And just get that out of there and get that one out of there too. So you can see when they, the software nested these, there's a very thin piece between all these, which is uh, obviously minimising on the amount of waste material we've got here. The other good thing is too, is the software does that for me. I didn't have to tell it how far apart I wanted it. The, the, the software seemed to nest it and know where to put it. So, yeah, and I'll just quickly show you the, the backs of these. As you can see, there's, you can get that in there without blurring the camera. There's not a lot of dross anywhere on there, so I'm really pleased with this. And these, all right, I'll just show you where all these gussets go on the, okay, well, this is one of the door frames. I've got three to go across my shed. Um, so I'll just show you what I've got here. These are the, these are the, these are the, the, the center pieces. And they're basically just providing support for the uprights and the horizontal ones there to give them some support. The corner ones, pretty self-explanatory. You can see it down in there, just show it from the other side. It's just a support in this corner before I put the diagonal in. And the other one is this support here. And the reason I put this gusset in here is because this upright, if I run up here through that center piece, that upright up there, sorry about the light in your eyes, where is it? Up there is actually supporting where the roller is. So the little bolt to the right of that where the roller is, that's just because they're trying to pull the weight of the door down. That's just giving me some extra support. So three, there's three doors in total. Just, this one goes over this end bay. And just got to replicate the design I've got here. And that's what those gussets are for. Well, I hope they gave you an insight into how you can nest items within the MyPlasm software, not only nesting an individual item and making multiples of it, but also bringing in uh, different items, different files that you want to cut, and then being able to nest them all together. So if you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. Oh, hello, here comes the dog. Hi, puppy. Uh, if you if you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button's down here. And if you haven't seen the video series I did on how I built my table, I will put a link uh, up here somewhere, and the link will take you to that uh, playlist of videos where how I built the table. So if you have any comments, uh, if you'd like to tell me how you guys nest your uh, items within the software, I, I'd, I'd like to hear about that and you put them in the comments below. If you have any other queries or questions, happy to answer those. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.